In Psalm 62, verse 5, it says, Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. As you retract your scapula, drawing the dumbbell closer to your body, remember to draw near to God. Just as this exercise requires controlled, intentional movements, draw near to God with intentional faith and surrender. Find rest in him through faith in Jesus Christ, letting go of worries and doubts, and anchor your hope in his unchanging love. I'm Roman Hunter. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the supported unilateral dumbbell scapular retraction. The supported unilateral dumbbell retraction or scapular retraction. All right. Now, this exercise primarily targets the rhomboids, major, minor. It also targets the mid fibers of the traps and is also good to help to reinforce and strengthen the integrity of the rotator cuff muscles. All right. uh, this exercise is primarily used to um, strengthen those scapular retractor, retractors as well as to help to alleviate um, shoulder pain uh, caused by uh, tension or increased tension in the upper traps. So if you have increased tension or if you have like tightness in your upper traps and it radiates all the way up to the side of your face, you know, that causes like a kind of migraine or making the neck feel a bit stiff. You wake up in the morning and you have some tension in your upper traps. It could be because of stress. It could be because of some other issue, you know, but this exercise helps in terms of alleviating some of that pain and reducing some of that tension in your upper traps. All right. Now, if it is that you do have uh, neck related or cervical related issues, I would strongly suggest that you seek medical advice and counsel from the physiotherapist first before performing this exercise. Otherwise, from that, this is a wonderful therapeutic exercise, a wonderful rehabilitative exercise for the upper traps. OK, it doesn't directly target the upper traps. It targets the mid fibers of the traps, as well as the rhomboids, major and minors, those are the muscles between the shoulder blades, between the scapula, all right? But in targeting those muscles indirectly, it helps to reduce the tension in your upper traps and alleviate some of the pain and discomfort that you'll be feeling from tight upper traps up here. Starting position, you can start, I mean, you don't need a bench or a table or a chair, you can start like this. So in a hinged position, bend forward, don't curl at the back like that, drive the hips back, keep the chest up a little bit, and you can use the other hand. So I use, for example, if I'm working my left hand, I use my right hand, put it on my thigh for support and pull up, all right? So I will show you from this side. So I have my left hand supporting, supported by my thigh to take the pressure off of your back. So you have your hand supported, you have your body supported with your hand resting on an object. It can be resting on a bench, it can be resting on a table, a chair, a stable object, and it can be performed anywhere in the gym, at home, in the park. It can be done by anybody. Anybody can do this exercise for all ages. And what you're actually doing with the other hand, the hand that is not working, the non-working hand, you have it resting on an object to help to support your back, all right? Because you'll be leaning forward for a little bit. I put one foot back, I'm in a staggered stance position. And the leg that is back, that is the hand that I'm holding the weight in. I'm working the right side. I'm holding the weight on the right side. I'm working the right side. And you don't need a dumbbell. You can use a bottle of water. You can use a stone. You can use some weighted objects, some weighted objects, you know? I mean, if you're at home and you don't have any access to dumbbells or any of the you know, exercise equipment, you can use a bottle of water. You can use uh, something around the house that has some weight in there. You don't even have to start off with weight. You can just use, you can just go freehand. Don't do anything, don't hold anything in your hand, just freehand, right? So you're not pulling up like this with the elbow, you're not shrugging, you're not moving the shoulders forward towards the ears, you're not doing that. You're relaxing the shoulder, keeping the shoulders down, allow the weight to pull the hand down a bit, and you're just pulling up on the shoulder blade. You're pulling up with the scapula, retracting the scapula, that's what you're doing, all right? So you're just pulling up. You're pulling up towards the ceiling. Again, you're not pulling forward. You're pulling up towards the ceiling. Up towards the ceiling. That's all you're doing. Try not to rotate your body. 
You're not rotating the body like that, and you're not bending the elbow like that. Try not to curl, curl your back like this. Chest up, hands, your body support with your hand, and pull. If you don't have anything to rest forward on, you can just stay feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, you're hinging at the hips. Keep your back slightly arched and chest up. The other hand is used to brace on the thigh and up, right? And you can do this according to sets, you can do this according to reps, you can do this according to timing. It's a wonderful exercise to really condition and activate, engage the mid fibers and lower fibers. And those fibers of the traps are deactivated, they're not properly engaged, they're not properly initiated, they're not properly um, being utilized and used by the body. And so you have a over dominance, you have a domination of the upper traps, the upper traps taking over, it's always being used, it's always being overworked. And so it gets very tight and tense. And so you have pain in the upper traps, you have discomfort up there. This exercise helps to balance everything off. Okay. Show you from front view, this is where it would look. Up, so like I said from before, you're moving it up towards the ceiling. So it's going up, you're not moving it forward. This is forward, you're moving it up. You see the difference between up and forward? When you're moving it forward, you don't see it going up. So you're moving it up towards the ceiling, like this. I want to show you from the radial, from the aerial view, sorry. All right, this is from the aerial view. As you can see, my shoulder blade is moving in towards the center of the back, towards the spine. So the shoulder blade is moving towards the spine. It's not moving forward like this, as I'd said from before. You're not shrugging it. You're not bringing it to your jaw or you're not bringing it to the air. You're bringing it back. Notice that I'm not rotating like this. Okay. Keeping the elbow straight and just pulling the shoulder blade towards the center of the spine. Again, this is the supported unilateral dumbbell retraction exercise or the supported unilateral dumbbell scapular retraction exercise. Okay, it's a wonderful exercise to really help to reduce the tension in the upper traps and to alleviate the pain associated with tensed upper traps. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Roman Hunter. Have a wonderful day. Blessings.